If you have ever been frustrated by the car buying process or trying to buy a car, you're in for a ride. Watch this video, see what happens when I emailed 100 Toyota dealers to get the best price on a Toyota RAV4. Let's see how many dealers actually wanna sell a car today and how many just wanna play games. Buckle up. All right, Dad, so I emailed those 100 Toyota dealers on the same exact Toyota RAV4. Any guesses how many actually got back to me when I used our email template to get the out the door price? Toyota dealers? 100? Toyota dealers. I would say 34. You would say 34 out of 100 actually yes. got back yes. to me. Yes. I hate to let you down, Dad. 17 Toyota dealers responded to me in total, and the actual number that gave me an out-the-door price was even less than that, only nine. And I have to be honest here, Dad, this yeah. is very different than our other video where we emailed 100 Ford dealers because many of the dealers that got back to me actually had already sold the vehicle I was reaching out for. I followed up with them. Sadly, none of them actually got back to me with another out the door <laughs> price. So these Toyota dealers, man, there's scarcity. And so they don't have as much of a obligation, I guess, to respond to customers. At least that was my experience. It's not an obligation to respond to customers. It's an obligation to the owner that they work for to respond to customers. Okay. Just because the vehicle you might've been interested in was sold doesn't mean that they couldn't have sold you on a different one. But one way for sure that they can't is by never answering your email. There was one dealer dad, Central Florida Toyota. They had actually sold the vehicle and kudos to the salesperson there because they, even though they had sold the vehicle, they actually sent me an out the door price worksheet for a comparable vehicle. And I'm gonna let you know, dad, this was the best dealer discount I got out of the group. So let's start there. What do you think the best deal was? These are Toyota RAV4s. What do you think the biggest dealer discount was that I received? Uh, $890. Not even close. Go a little bit higher, man. There's some aggressive Toyota dealers out there. Okay, this is Florida. Um, without knowing their dock fee, um, let's say their dock fee somewhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred hours, then then the discount was two grand. So here you go, Dad. This is from Central Florida Toyota. You can see three thousand three hundred and eighty-eight dollar and fifty cent discount, and they have added a one thousand dollar nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars and ninety-five cents pre-delivery service charge. But that's it, man. So even including the pre-delivery service charge of a thousand dollars, you're still getting twenty three hundred and eighty-eight dollars off on a Toyota Rav4 right now, which is a significant discount on a vehicle that's got almost a thirty-four thousand dollar msrp especially when you compare this to the worst deal that we got dad this is a really this this is a great deal this is impressive it, it is was it on a vehicle a different vehicle that they actually had in stock to sell exactly yeah no that's what i'm saying this salesperson did a great job i reached out for a vehicle i asked for the out the door price using our email template they responded and said hey that one literally just sold today i have this other comparable one and here's the out the door price are you interested that salesperson deserves a huge pat on the back um um, he would be uh, a desirable salesperson for any dealership to steal uh, because trust me, if if only 17 out of 100 dealers got back to you, uh, that, that tells you that most salespeople don't see um, any upside to responding to email leads because, you know, their inventory is so short. This person realizes that you never know where a sale is going to come from and he actually provided you with the information that you asked for. Kudos to him. So this is our best deal, Dad, and it gets even better. This is in the response from the dealership. I'm a big fan of your and your father's work. I believe at some point your dad was a part of Penske. So it is an honor to be able to provide you with a quote and please extend my gratitude to him, his service and awesome content you all create. Folks, when you reach out to people and you tell them you're with Car Edge or that you're, you're empowered and informed from Car Edge, you have the opportunity for this to happen. Cut through all the BS, get the best possible deal. This is freaking beautiful, man. Congrats to Luis. All right, Dad, so that was the best deal. The worst deal we got was at MSRP. There were two dealers that got back to us, Toyota of Redlands and Toyota of Huntington Beach, and those two were both at MSRP. There wasn't anything particularly egregious about them, and we did have other dealers who were uh, below MSRP with dealer discount that then added accessories. But you know, you've got a 3,200, or I guess when we consider the $1,000 uh, pre-delivery service charge from our quote unquote best, you've got a $2,200 spread or $2,300 spread between the best deal and the worst deal. And again, this was just the initial outreach. So it's not like we even negotiated. That's a big difference. 33, $3,200 like that. That makes a, that makes a difference in your monthly payment and overall price of the vehicle. Well, you know, if, if you figure that uh, every thousand dollars adds 20 to 25 dollars to your monthly payment, yeah, $3,000 makes a huge difference. What it shows is that, that if you're willing to work at it, you can find deals out there. 
Yes, there are probably still some dealers out there that are charging over MSRP. There's dealers out there that are charging just MSRP. But as we saw, there there was a dealer that was willing to discount $3,300 over MSRP. For people who say there's no deals to be found, there are. You just have to find them. It's going to take work, time, effort, and energy, but they are out there. I, I do want to say one thing. Shame on the 83 dealers that never got back to you. Uh, that is so ridiculous. Whether or not you're a real opportunity, there is no way for them to find out if they never respond to you. You can't, as a salesperson, take it upon yourself to cut out a potential sale on behalf of your dealership just because, well, you don't think there's anything there. Now, Dad, one of the things Toyota customers are going to deal with when you do reach out to dealerships are port installed and factory installed accessories. So here's an example from Wright Toyota. They sent over the out the door price worksheet. And you can see here, Dad, the original base MSRP of this vehicle is $30,100. And $85. Then the factory added $2,190 in accessories. And then the port, I don't know, ports have opinions, I guess, on what should be on cars, but the port installed $1,044 in accessories and packages. And this is happening all across the United States for Toyota vehicles because these are additional profit centers, both for Toyota and for the dealer and for the distributors. So if you go watch some of our other videos, we've talked about uh, Toyota distributors and how they essentially have a monopoly over distribution of Toyota in the United States. So this is something customers are gonna run into. You can't blame the dealer for this, but it is an additional accessory or package that you might not have asked for that you're gonna see show up on a lot of these OTD worksheets. So now that we've done this with two different dealerships or two different brands, excuse me, Ford and Toyota, does anything stand out to you? I know you had initially expected more more Toyota dealers to have gotten back to me. And quite frankly, I did too. But I, I, in retrospect, I'm not too surprised. Toyota and Ford dealers, the numbers are pretty similar in terms of response rate and OTD rate. Yeah. The thing that stands out to me is that most dealerships do a really, really poor job when it comes to internet leads. They just don't know how to handle those type of uh, inquiries. And so in many cases, they don't. They just don't. You know, and from the customer's perspective, all, all we're asking for is information so that we can make an informed decision. And if a dealership chooses not to share that information with us or not to even um, respond to us in any way, shape, or form, it makes our job as a consumer harder to try and find the appropriate deal so we can, I don't know, actually buy a damn car. Now, I will mention we can get you connected to, to Toyota dealers in the Car Edge network back at CarEdge.com, but you got to do the legwork. You got to be ready to negotiate. And as you're learning from watching these videos, it is a lot of work. Again, kudos to the dealership and the gentleman who is a part of our community that's providing great out the door prices on Toyota RAV4s and poo poo on the dealers who are not getting <laughs> back to us and those that are trying to sell at MSRP. Definitely, if you know someone who's in the market to buy a car, whether it be a you know Toyota or something else, send them this video. Help them understand what they're going to get into when they start reaching out to all those dealerships. And yes, Dad, my phone is still getting hit up from all of these dealers, the ones that have responded with, are you still in the market for a car? Are you still in the market for a car? So the ones that do get back to you, man, they're going to get back to you. And the ones that don't, I guess you just don't exist. Exactly. Hey, do me a favor. Next time, do a luxury car. Let's see how luxury dealers respond. Yeah, let us know in the comments down below which uh, brand you want us to do next. I think luxury is a good idea. Let us know in the comments. Thanks for doing this, Pops. Thank you.